Hi there. So for this question then, we were given the position vector of the particle at time t seconds and asked to find its initial position vector. Well, that's very easy because always when you get the initial position, it's when t equals zero. So all you've got to do for part A then is substitute t equals zero in here. And if you do that, you therefore end up with the position vector r of the particle p equaling minus 3 in the i direction and then followed by 4 in the j direction. So minus 3i plus 4j.